What is up guys, we're back with another video, man. So I wanted to reach back out to you guys because when I was doing the Sony ZV-1 build, the one thing that we were missing, well not necessarily missing, um, but that just wasn't a part of the build at that time was the audio. So I've kind of fixed, well I finally fixed the audio situation. I'm gonna show you just one thing that I got that helped me fix the audio situation. So um, I was getting ready to pack the ZV-1 up. I, well, I actually started packing it up because today I'm taking the ZV-1 out um, document my son's uh, first haircut man he's five he got a huge huge fro and today we're going to be uh, cutting it off so I'm going to be documenting it so I set the ZV-1 up um, and then I broke it down and I was putting it away and I said you know what I did fix the audio let me come back show them how I fixed the audio and what I used to actually fix it so here's the ZV-1 I just kind of re well, briefly uh, put it kind of sort of back together just to show you but this is the audio situation right here so I was able to I uh, get the audio put right back here on the ZV-1 and I was able to put my monitor up here and keep in mind I could switch all of this stuff around so I could put the um, I could put the I'm sorry put the uh, audio over here switch the monitor back and forth um, I can even take this off and slide it here do whatever I want to do uh, but I'm gonna show you what I use to actually uh, fix this um, and I think it's really cool it was something that was very very simple and all it was was this set of camera screws all right oh another disclaimer guys I'm on the iPhone 12 front facing camera. So if I'm looking at the screen and not looking at you guys, I apologize. I'm so used to recording with the ZV-1 now. But um, this is what I picked up. It cost me 17 bucks. And this has every single screw that you would need uh, for any type of camera equipment, camera gear, uh, for microphones, um, boom arms, whatever the case. This is going to get it done for you. And all I did was I took one of these. Uh, oh, and it came with this little case too. But all I did was uh, I took one of these little screws right here and I screwed it into the top of the uh, small rig uh, handle and then that's how I was able to uh, get my monitor or the audio whichever way I, whichever way I wanted to do this uh, that's how I was able to to get this screwed in right here so um, this came in handy it cost me 17 bucks and that's how I was able to fix the audio man um, so real quick uh, I highly recommend and highly suggest you guys go out get your little box of these or a little plastic little container of these right here they come in many different um, sizes. I think this one was a uh, 25 piece. You can get it, you know, eight piece, 10 piece, however many pieces you want. Um, I feel like the sky's the limit, but this was 17 and that's why I scooped it up. And to be honest with you, it is coming in handy because if you don't remember, we did the Andobil, uh, mag safe stick, right? That little mag stick. And it had screw holes on it to where that we can mount certain things on that. So, you know, stay tuned for a video showing you guys uh, that setup as well. Very simple, uh, but this is what's going to get that done as well. So um, this is the audio right here on the ZV-1. I just wanted to show you guys that I did fix it and or correct it or incorporate it into the build. The audio was not missing. Well, it's not missing now, uh, but this is the audio right here. It's back. I got it on the ZV-1, and today I'm going to be documenting my son's haircut, uh, first haircut, man, for the family. So, you know, taking this to the barbershop. Uh, and documenting it, man, and making some a nice video for the family and for him for when he get older uh, to go back and look at, man. It's going to be amazing. So anyway, 17 bucks. I'll try and throw a link or remember to throw a link in the description. If I don't put the link in the description, somebody hit me up in the comment section and remind me, but I will try to remember. $17, all the screws you need, and this was the way that I was able to fix the audio situation for the Sony ZV-1 build. All right, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.